Hi Cancers, welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? You guys, <laughs> we're heavy in this moon energy, right? So uh, we just finished uh, coming out of the full moon in Aries, we're still in it. About to hop into new moon energy. We're in this new moon energy now. The next thing you know, we're in full moon energy again at the end of the month on Halloween, right? The, the big moon, the blue moon energy in Taurus. So I, I bet you guys are, if we're all feeling it, I bet you guys are hardcore feeling it, right? Let's see how you guys are feeling. Welcome to my channel, you guys. If you guys are new, welcome to the family. If you guys are returning, welcome back. Remember, you guys, that energy is fluid and time is an illusion. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. If this is resonating, you guys will feel it in your body. Um, if per your intuition, solar plexus area. If not, if it's confusing to you, the message is for somebody else. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that the message can reach um, those that need it. And so I can connect with your energy. If I don't connect with you this time, please check back with me next time. Don't forget to check your other placements. Cross watchers that could be in your energy and speaking directly to you. So take it how it resonate. Please feel free to reverse the roles. Thank you guys for your donations for booking personal readings with me. The information to that is in the description box below. You can also reach me on my Instagram at infinite underscore love 1111. I have reviews on there as well if you guys are interested in scheduling a reading. Let's get right into it, you guys. Thank you for everything. Healing. This has been the theme. Healing. And the collective right now, right? Um, as we close out karmic cycles and hop into a new cycle. A brand new chapter. The new earth. Right? Everybody's going through major changes. Pluto and Saturn just turn direct. So we are all experiencing major crumbling in our lives of everything that no longer serves. It's not authentic to us has to go. Right. So our true, true, authentic self can shine through. Let me call in spirit and tap into your energy. Okay, Cancer. Right. Let's see how you guys are feeling. Show me Cancer's energy spirit. What's going on in your energy right now? New beginning. Exactly what I just said. Closing out old karmic cycles. Closing out some old chapters, right? And welcoming in a new beginning. It's very important right now that we don't resist these changes that, are, that we're undergoing, okay? And we just surrender. Allow. Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Environment. I did see that when I was um, shuffling. Um, environment. This is about taking care of Mother Gaia now that um, we're in the new earth, right? Uh, making sure that you recycle, that you contribute to Mother Gaia, to Mother Earth here, to environmentalism, taking care of the environment, right? Um making sure that you um, plant your vegetables, eat foods from the earth, um, spend time in nature, right? Take care of the animals, the wildlife, um, get some plants for the house, you know, just really making sure that um, also your environment, the people that you surround yourself with, right, um, are on the same page as far as um, contributing to mother earth. And then we have self-love. This is this has been um, a huge thing for you guys ever since I started my channel when I used to do um, readings um, for all the signs um, often before I started focusing the Aquarius Collective per my guidance from spirit. Um, um, self Self-confidence, belief in yourself, um, self-love, self-worth was always a big thing. Um, big, uh, every single reading um, and uh, 
healing, right? Mastering the art of self-love and choosing self-love was a theme here, right? Um, healing from the wounds that has caused you to feel insecure in your life, that has led you to compare yourself to others, to feel envious, to feel jealous um, of um, because you have the magic within you. This is heart chakra healing, solar plexus healing, as well as root chakra, okay? Not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy, not feeling um, secure in your life, not feeling, not believing in your own magic, not seeing your own magic, right? Um, you know, um, when we surround ourselves with people that, that flood their um, timeline with selfies and um, spend, spends the day um, ingesting things that are not really beneficial to them, watching what other people are doing in their lives instead of um, focusing on your own strengths and on your own gifts. Um, like instead of um, ingesting things that um, are beneficial for their uh, personal growth and well-being, they're, they're busy liking, watching what celebrities are doing and clicking like and, on, on, and, and posting selfies and things like that, right? That's not self-love, okay? Um, creating healthy boundaries um, with people in your life as well. Um, not over-giving of yourself, making sure it's reciprocal right? Um, equal uh, give and take here. Um, let's see. And then we have spirituality at the bottom of the deck. What else for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Self-love is huge. Healing and spirituality wanted to flip over. Okay. You guys are probably learning a lot about spirituality. New beginning again at the bottom of the deck. Yes. You guys are probably learning a lot about spirituality now at this time. As you, if you guys are going through a spiritual awakening, you guys may be going through a spiritual awakening. You, you guys may need to surrender to complete and total healing right now. Okay. As you're going through a spiritual awakening. We have 66. We have 44. Wow. We have 11 here. 1, 1, 1, 2. Uh, 44. 66 and 77 61 breaks onto a seven so that's seven 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 if you guys are into numerologists beautiful right so healing is needed here okay surrendering to to complete healing this is crown chakra so going through an awakening healing this will be about third eye chakra and throat chakra speaking your truth using your voice here um being to, to be your true authentic self right self-love is about being yourself unapologetically, being confident in yourself. And it's hard to actually be yourself when you don't know who you are, right? When we compare ourselves to others and we people please and we do more for others than what we receive, we're, it's because we're needing something from them, right? Um, to feel validated, to feel seen, to feel noticed, um, um, afraid of loss, af afraid of how you're going to be seen, that's all from when we don't know who we are. When we overgive, it's because we're wanting something in return. But that's that's not really giving from a from a, from a pure place. Uh, <clears throat> it's not really giving from um, pure intentions, right? So therefore, it leads to more more loneliness, it leads to more sadness, and it leads to more. These are the things that we're needing to heal. This is inner child healing. I'm seeing here, right? So. Finding yourself, coming home to yourself, becoming, uh, becoming whole, right? Step it into, into your life as your true authentic self here is really important right now. Okay. Um, being an, in, 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 practicing individuality, right? That's very free spirited energy. That's very, um, Dancing to the beat of your own drum, not caring what anybody else thinks of you, right? That's self-love, okay? That's just being who you're meant to be, following your soul's path, um, being your true authentic self here. Not, not wearing a mask of, of, what, um, of how you would like to be seen, of being wanted and needed by people in your life, right? There's a new beginning here coming in for you. I'm going to clarify a couple of these, actually. I think you guys are finally doing the work. If not, then that's what's needed here. Yeah, it's exactly what I said. Recognition, right? Wanting to... This is about being seen, being in the public eye even, right? Being noticed, getting attention, wanting attention. Sometimes we do things for other people here because we want attention, right? It's an ego thing, right? 
giving giving to people when it's not balanced equal give and take exactly what i said giving more to of yourselves to others without receiving it and then and then feeling sad about it then getting resentful about it right then feeling um that builds resentment um when 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 because we're doing it for the wrong reasons this is an ego thing right so um for some of you guys, this is you finally healed from this and stepped into your individuality, right? And now the universe is gifting you, right? Gifting you. Now that you be, have the confidence in the individual, no, found, found who you are to step, to step out of your comfort zone, right? And, and step into the, the world and your environment and your life, being who you are, not hiding behind a false mask, right? But behind the makeup, um, behind the things that you own. Um, yeah, this is about balance, balancing equal reciprocity here. Um, remember when we're reactive and when we're defensive and when we, um, are extra sensitive to, to what <clears throat> our surroundings and some of the things that people say and do as we watch people and we interact with people, that's that's um, because you're being triggered. That trigger is supposed to be a messenger and a guide to alert you um, that there there's something within you that you haven't looked at that needs healing. The trigger has nothing to do with the other person, has everything to do with you, the things we haven't faced yet the things that we need to go deep within the, the core of our soul to heal, okay? Um, and all of that is heart chakra being completely blocked. When, we're, when we respond from a, from a wound, right, a trauma, a subconscious programming, um, it really uh, blocks your flow of abundance and love. If this love is what you're seeking outside of you, you're going to be seeking forever, because it's never going to be good enough. It's never going to satisfy you. Because it, it needs to come from within you. Self-love. It needs to come from within you. You need to give yourself this. Take the time to, to heal. All of this for show stuff that we're putting out to the world. Cars that we drive. Clothes that we wear. Jewelry that we wear. Makeup that we wear. Uh, stuff like that. right? What we own. What we possess. All of that stuff is, is um, all that glitters. right? Superficial. It's not spiritual. And that's what you guys are healing from, a lot of you guys. Or someone in your energy. Feel free to reverse the rules. I'm being called to pull from this deck here for some reason. And then I'll cl clarify some of these. Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Definitely inner child healing is what I'm getting here. Inner child healing. Healing your relationship with your parents, specifically your mom. Definitely. Something that was missing in childhood, where somewhere along the line you lost yourself. We all have, right? Because um, our parents, if our parents doesn't know how to love themselves, they can't teach us how to love ourselves, right? They clip our wings for us. Um, but you're responsible for healing that, for taking back control of your life and figuring out who you are as an individual and stepping into that power, that leadership role. Stepping in, taking your energy back here. Cancer, someone rising in Venus. It's, it's about the soul. It's not about how you're seen and attention from others. <clears throat> Overgiving to people so that you can get something in return. Love, right? The, the, the love that you're seeking outside of you, you'll be seeking forever. It's never going to be enough. It's about knowing your value and knowing your worth. Cancer. Spirit. And you can do that by doing the meditations that I provide in the description box below and start do and start surrendering completely to the to your healing. Here. Cancer, sun moon rising in Venus. Cancer, show me cancer. Starseed, what lights you up? 
So some of you guys are star seeds. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? You might want to look up star seeds. Um, there's some things here that 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 lights you guys up here that you need to step into this 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 leadership role here, okay? Or whatever makes you feel passionate and alive and give to yourself. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? All right. Answer the call. This is about listening to your body and listening to your intuition. You get a lot of messages through your emotions because you're a water sign. Right? Use your sensitivity and your empathic abilities and your connection to the moon to be, to 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 don't allow any kind of insecurities and things like that. You might be calling to do something regarding the environment and Mother Gaia. Okay. Um, don't allow any insecurities. I'm sorry about that. I had a phone call. Don't allow any insecurities or, or um, situations in your life um, to, to um, or people in your life to make you feel like you can't do something here. Answer, answer the call. Cancer spirit, can you please clarify self love for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, spirit. Self-love for cancer. There you guys are. Um, this is the Pisces and Cancer's energy here. The moon. So there's some fears here, right? Can the cancer represents um, illusion, confusion, fears, the depth, right? The subconscious, the psyche. Okay, so there's something we're not seeing. But some, like I said, we're heavy in this moon energy right now. So you guys are probably feeling it pretty strongly right now. We'll see if this is going to show up, but this is not really seeing things for what it is. Um, there's also something you are not seeing. This is about secrets here, right? So um, needing to go inside the subconscious mind here, needing to dive deep into the underworld to heal, right? Listening to your intuition better, which is one of your superpowers, right? Being a water sign, so you're going to feel everything you need to feel through your body, clear sentience, right? Through your emotions and things like that, through your physical body, your feelings and your emotions is your uh, compass, is your radar, right? Is, is how you listen to spirit here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yeah, you guys are not using your superpowers here wisely. Healing is needed. Absolutely. This is about balancing out spirituality and practicality. Um, this is Sagittarius energy. The angels are trying to help you. You just need to call on them and count on them to help you. Um, this right here is um, alchemizing energy. This is about balancing the masculine and the feminine energy, right? This is the angel of peace, the angel of tranquility, the angel of patience, the angel of balance. Coming back to center here, being in the present moment. You guys are not in the present moment from what I'm seeing here. Um, too much thinking about the past causes depression. Too much thinking about the future causes anxiety. Okay, so this is um, this is the energy here that is at the bottom of the deck. So we have the two of swords. So there's something you guys are not seeing or refusing to see. A blockage, right? Again, something you're not seeing or refusing to see. There is a, you're in two minds about something here. Can't make up your mind about something because you're not listening to your intuition. Okay, so um, one sword is your intuition. The other sword would be your ego, your pride, your fears, your self-doubts, questioning yourselves, right? So basically when we're in two minds about something, you want to ask spirit the question. Ask the divine the question, right? You want to say, um, you want to say, divine, spirit, angels, this is my question right? Should I do this? Ask the question, close your eyes and feel what your body feels like. If your body closes up and tenses up, that's a no. But if your body relaxes and opens, right? And it feels good. It's a yes to keep doing that, to, to, 
Also, this is about you um, going within water energy, moon energy, right? Um, working on your crown chakra, your third eye, your heart chakra, your solar plexus, as well as your sacral chakra. So you can receive, be in the feminine energy of receptivity. So you can receive the messages from spirit. I'm getting here that a lot of you guys might be too much masculine energy of doing, of overdoing, of doing, 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 giving, 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 and you're not able to receive the messages from, this is about balancing out the masculine and the feminine energy. Some of you guys are probably trying to distract yourself with work or overworking, like I said, doing, 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 and then, um, and not closed off, right? Closed off to what's going on here. What, what spirit is trying to alert you of? This is, this is not, not seeing, this is like not seeing, um, this is ghosts. This is fears. This is anxiety. This is worries. This is stress. Some of you guys are going through the dark night of the soul, right? Some of you guys, um, uh, it's hard to go through a spiritual awakening, right? Some of you, you guys have your back during the day. You guys are working. You guys are busy. You guys are focused. You guys are mastering a skill, going to school, going to work. But at night, all of these things here that you're not seeing, that you're not seeing, that you're not looking at, that we haven't surrendered to complete healing yet. All of these things here is coming up, bubbling up to the surface, especially now during Mercury retrograde. We got the three of swords. That's a lot of pain. That's why the healing card is here. Because it's time that we choose self-love and surrender to complete healing. Okay, there's a lot of pain here. We're blocking it out. We're trying to avoid it, detach from it, but it's not going anywhere. There it is. Keeping you up late at night, right? This is anxiety. This is depression. Uh, I shoulda, coulda, woulda. This is overthinking something. So much so that it's creating nightmares, analysis, paralysis. Whatever decision this is here, right? That's because we haven't gone within here and trusted our intuition, listened to our intuition. We haven't healed. We haven't healed the psyche, uh, the subconscious mind, reprogrammed the subconscious mind, surrendered to complete healing, right? Um, put our headphones in, hopped into meditation, and not coming up for air until we become whole here. Right, your heart was cracked, cracked open for a reason, for you to go within and heal it and become whole again, so you can master the art of self-love, individuality here, right, and healing. You guys are probably going through a spiritual awakening. That's not easy to do. Pluto and Saturn came in and removed things from our lives, which created a lot of pain for a lot of people, lost loved ones, lost parents, lost friends, right, and then. Um, and it created, you know, the, the awakening, right? Through loss and turmoil. So you, there, your soul is calling for you to do something, but we're not listening or paying attention because we're still in dealing with, 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 get, with this. Perhaps there might have been a secret here um, with people that you were involved with, right? Maybe somebody had more than one person, and which are the three swords here and the two swords, right? The secret person here that you felt per your intuition, but you might have ignored the red flags and not wanted to look at it and decided to detach yourself by avoidism, avoidism escapism, right? And, and decided to just um, bury yourself into whatever you are creating here. But Spirit is saying it's time for you to put in the work and master yourself, raise your vibration, master your, your energy here, and start doing the healing work. A lot of dark, you guys are probably going through the dark night of the soul for some of you guys. Healing is needed. Temperance card. You guys are, yeah. You guys are, are stuck here in analysis paralysis. This is addictions. This is codependencies. This is the ego. This is fear. This is the devil energy, Capricorn energy. This is restrictions and attachments, obsessions and bondage. Um, the ruminating thoughts going on and over and over and over and over again in your mind. I'm glad I'm doing this reading. There's ruminating thoughts here. It's keeping you, it's keeping, it's not real. It's an illusion. It's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you stuck. You're not stuck. It's not, once you do the healing work and you find, and you, and you find your center and you come and come and come, uh, back to center here, right? Um, you'll be able to free yourself from this energy. Okay, this right here is obsessive thinking, um, obsession, whether about a situation or a person or a thing here, right? This could be a, a, an addiction. It could be overworking. 
It could be obsessive thoughts. It could be uh, fears, the ego. It could be eating too much, smoking too much weed, drinking too much alcohol, watching too many shows, that, and not doing something in moderation, right? Which is which is completely paralyzing you from actually tapping into your the water energy here, right? And feeling and feeling your next move, your next direction here. So there's something that's holding you back and keeping you stuck, something toxic. It could be a toxic relationship that you're stuck in, okay? Um, you need to heal from a toxic relationship, some of you guys. Some of you guys, you need to heal from a toxic upbringing, from maybe being abandoned as a child, So yeah, so a lot of inner child heals. Some of you need to heal. Drop the ego here. Some of you guys need to need to heal from being abandoned as a child here. Neglect, you know, um, maybe you might have a narcissistic mother for some of you guys. Um, if, you're, if a cancer doesn't have a healthy relationship growing up with their parents, with their family, in their family home, it can, it can really create quite the imprint, the subconscious programming as an adult. Absolutely. Yeah. Could be some kind of stress at work, too. Maybe it's this whole um, COVID situation took a toll uh, on, the, on, on your business, on your livelihood here. There's a lot of stress here. There's a lot of stress in your energy. Um, there's a lot of healing you guys need to do, and I hope that you guys do surrender to it. Hop in, hop into the meditations. The put in your headphones. Don't come up for air. You sh in this energy right here, in this energy right here, my loves. You should only be coming up for air to use the restroom, to eat, to work, which is your obligation to pay your bills, right? Um, to shower, to to uh, eat, shower. Use the restroom. And you're charging your phone while you're eating, showering, and using your, the restroom, right? And, and working. Um, other than that, there's, it's hermit mode. It's four swords mode. It's temperance mode. It's star card mode. It is complete and total shutdown mode. To um, Popping in the headphones here and not coming up for air to clear this up. You guys are not in a good place right now. That's why there's there's a there's a way out, and the only way out is in. The only way out is in. You can try to work, and avoid and overwork and distract and detach all you want, but it's not going anywhere. It's not. This is not going anywhere. This. It's, it's not going anywhere until you face it, until you heal it. This you'll carry on from within all of your friendships and all of your relationships. Some of you guys have a, an extreme levels of fear of abandonment and loss because of so much loss you experienced in your life. That's because you guys have probably been seeking love outside of yourself. Self-love has been a thing, like I said, since I started doing readings for you guys. And now it feels to me like shit has hit the fan here. You guys are probably going through a spiritual awakening and really realizing things about yourselves and about the people in your life here. There's a new beginning that wants to manifest for you. Spirit, what is coming in here for cancer the second that they surrender to complete healing and, and, and do this work here. This is about doing the work. This is about not coming up for air here. No distractions while you do the work to heal. What's coming in for cancer the, the second that they uh, wish fulfillment? Self-love is coming in for you. Nine of cups. This is, this is better, right? This is beautiful. This is what's coming in here for you. The second that you um, go within here and you come back to center, balance out spirituality and practicality, stay grounded. This is not grounded, not grounded, not grounded, not grounded, not grounded. 
come back to center. When you you know you're not grounded when you're restless, when you're having anxiety, when you're um, when you're restless, when you're having anxiety, when you're frustrated, irritated, defensive, guarded, suspicious, paranoid, spacey, um, forgetful. Like I said, can't sleep at night. That's all signs that your root chakra is out of alignment. You guys need a complete chakra reset. That meditation is in the description box to my readings. You guys need a complete chakra reset here. So basically, this is the energy of self-love. Complete and total emotional fulfillment on your own, by yourself here. That's when, only when we're in this energy of, of filling our own cup of love, of giving to ourselves, knowing our... And there's a difference between self-love and narcissistic love, and narcissistic energy, right? selfish energy right there's a difference there's a fine line and that's something you will learn as you're progressing your healing okay there's a big difference between um uh setting healthy boundaries right and being selfish so um that's something that you guys will definitely learn as you progress here and come become whole and come back home to yourselves as you heal yeah even love will come in here even love will come in after you heal. You'll turn into the empress. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work. A lot of internal struggle, a battle. You know, it, you, there's a, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take discipline. And it's going to take a sacrifice. And it's going to take a commitment, a devotion. Complete and total self-love that you have for yourself. It's going to take that. Yes, it will. It's going to be hard. But Spirit is saying, you got this. You can do this. Keep pushing through. This is spiritual strength. This is perseverance. This is you looking back at all of the noise, the gossip, the drama, the competition, the envy, the jealousy, the bickering, the defensiveness, all of this, all of this, all of this, right? That has been your life thus far. And, and, and choosing, choosing a different path for yourself the spiritual path, right? Choosing to heal the soul, your inner self, choosing to come back home to yourself, choosing to walk away from the drama, from the gossip, from the folks in your life that's lower vibrational, right? And choosing solitude, choosing to stay by yourself so you can rise. This is the empress, all four queens in one. This is master creation. You're not in this energy right now. Because we haven't surrendered to complete, complete healing. This is what's coming in for you here. After was the question I asked Spirit. After you surrender to healing. It's going to take time. It's going to take patience. It's going to take strength. It's going to take time and patience. A very strong decision that you're going to make for yourself to move forward. Right? To move forward in a different direction. Leaving the past in the past. And it's going to take a lot of strength to walk away from folks that are not good for you, from friends that use you, manipulate you, abuse you, right? Mind control you. People that want to win at any cost. Spiteful people. This is you standing up for yourself here, saying no thank you. But this is also you, victory and triumph, looking at the past, how much you've grown. This is you being in your individuality. This is you picking your battles, choosing your battles wisely here. Taking time out, making a sacrifice to gain this enlightenment so you can see things in your life from a different perspective, right? Then boom, here's your new beginning. What follows this new beginning? You're complete and total self, um, um, ten of pentacles, success. Money, wealth, prosperity, a marriage for some, if that's what you guys are manifesting. Complete and total confidence. Self-love, self-esteem, creation mode, magnetic, attractive. Because you exude this energy here. This is the vibration you're putting out. Mastering how to work with energy. and Master alchemist here, right? It's going to take work. For some of you guys, this is somebody in your energy that you're dealing with here. All right, um, let's go ahead and pull. Um, you guys reach out to me. I can help you. 
with the, with your journey here, okay? You don't have to, you're not alone. You don't have to do this alone. A lot of you guys are going through this dark night of the soul phase of the spiritual awakening. So look that up, right? What that means. It's time to learn. It's time to do your research. It's time to learn. It's time to study. It's time, it's time to master yourself, master your energy, focus on your health and your physical body, raise your vibration here permanently. You can't fake energy. You can't fake energy. People can feel the toxicity in the energy. People can feel it. It's the tone in your voice that you use. It's a sarcastic comment. It is the, 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 the shade you throw to people, right? When you're coming from this place. Spirit. What's the blockage here for Cancer? Someone rising and Venus. What's the blockage? The blockage for Cancer. Someone rising. Friendship. You're surrounded by people that are most likely pride. <laughs> Your pride is getting in the way here of this healing. The pride and ego. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Yep. And friendship. So your friends, your friends may be blocking you here. We saw this, right? That doesn't look friendly to me. Maybe blocking you. You got to really know who your true friends are is what I'm getting. You have a lot of toxicity in your energy. So you're needing to do cord cutting meditation immediately. Empath um, protection meditation. To, 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 to take back your energy and return and return, taking back your energy and returning and returning um, energy back to sender with love. Here. Right? There's a meditation for that, to empath meditation. I posted in the community board of my, uh, on, my, on my channel here. Friendship. I'm going to read this to you. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Spirit, what does cancer need to surrender to right now? I'm glad I did this reading. I was called to, I was in meditation. And Spirit said for me to do the cancer reading. I'm glad I did it. You guys needed this message right now. Spirit, what does cancer, someone rising in Venus, need to surrender to? You guys have a, are, are going through some stuff here. Please reach out to me for a personal reading, um, for a personal healing session with me. We can, If this is resonating, we can go through everything here. And I can recommend a specific healing modalities for your resources for you. If you guys are really ready to surrender to this healing. If you guys want to clear up all this blockage here so, so we can um, bring this in, this new beginning in here for you. Right? And what's the other one here? Ooh! Right? This is about taking a leap of faith. Jump, hop. Closing out an old chapter here completely. Hopping into a new beginning. What does Cancer, someone rising, someone rising and Venus needs to surrender to right now? Cancer. What does Cancer need to surrender? Wow. Surrender to trust and surrender to stubbornness. And surrender low self-esteem. Surrender stress. The theme. The theme is still going. Ever since I started my channel, I started doing the reading for you guys. Surrender pride. Surrender stubbornness. Right? If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you to communicate more lovingly with, you, with others and yourself. So throat chakra healing is needed here, right? All this blue, throat chakra healing is needed. Surrender low self-esteem. I, I, I am really sorry that you guys view yourselves this way. You guys are beautiful people with magic within you you guys individuality right you guys are uh magical beings you guys have your uh, such unique strengths and gifts within yourself this right here comes from a wound 
dating back to childhood. It's deeper than what, than what meets the eye. It's not from the last relationship or the friend that abandoned you or, or those recent little things. These are just messengers and triggers. This comes from childhood, even past life stuff. This is solar plexus, knowing that you are enough, I, confidence. This, when you heal a solar plexus, you, hear, you heal any fear of rejection, right? Um, this is confidence. Solar plexus is confidence, self-esteem, self-worth, passion, purpose, drive, ambition, motivation, determination. Take action in your life, right? Sacral chakra needs healing uh, for shame, guilt, regret, jealousy, envy, heart chakra. So solar plexus, heart chakra, sacral chakra, root chakra. I am enough. I have enough, right? You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Surrender stress. There's a lot of that here, my loves. A lot of that here. She, she is unconditional love. She has high self-esteem. She has self-love. She's nurturing. She's kind. She's loving. She's a mother of the tarot, right? So there's definitely mother healing, divine mother inner child healing that's needed here. There's a meditation that I post in the description box below. Divine mother guided meditation. Please listen to that. Once you heal the relationship with your mother, you step into your goddess divine feminine energy. This can be a stubborn and egoic energy as well, to be honest, but that's not what I ask spirit. Um, surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths. I posted in the in the in the, my community board um, the type of breathing, diaphragmatic breathing work you'll need to do um, to release this stress to 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 for meditation. Okay, so um, take a look at that. So so you can it, can it can be very helpful for you guys when you guys are meditating to practice that that specific breath work. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to center. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So basically the reason why um, you're, you're struggling with trusting yourself and trusting the divine, trusting spirit, trusting the process, trusting the universe is because you're not tapped in to your superpower as the water sign, which is your intuition. You have a lot of blockages here. You can't trust yourself when you're not seen, when you're not connected with, with your, your special gifts and your abilities as the water sign, which is your intuition. There's a lot of darkness. You're not seeing things. You're not, you're not being able to trust yourself, your intuition. So you might want to read articles about how to listen to your intuition, watch videos online about how to listen to your intuition. Right now, you're not, you're being guided, but you're not seeing the guidance and the path that you're supposed to be on from spirit, not probably seeing, uh, synchronicities and guidance from spirit. Because you're blocked, you're completely blocked. Upper chakra is completely blocked. Solar plexus is blocked. All of your chakras is completely blocked, as a matter of fact. So your spiritual centers that you need to function, the, the, your spiritual centers that is, uh, uh, that is in charge of your spiritual, emotional, physical health is, is completely blocked. So you're out of alignment. So that's why you're struggling to trust. That's why Spirit is saying it's time. That's why you're struggling to trust. So Spirit is saying it's time for you to. It's time for you to come back to center, my loves, and heal and balance out your energy here. Let's pull from the monology. Spirit, what guidance do you have for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You guys experience some kind of a heartbreak here. This is, like I said, whatever is a recent heartbreak, it, ju it was just a trigger from, it just reopened the wound that you've had from childhood as well as past life that we have never addressed. So now that you're cracked open, this is your opportunity 
right? To go within here and heal. Your heart's been crushed. So there's no shell, hardened shell around your heart, which has left you emotionally unavailable, which is why you kept you attracting in um, painful situations into your life. Because we never went within the psyche here, the moon energy, and, 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 and uh, addressed it. So we carried the wound from the relationship before this one and the one before this one and the one before this one by hopping into new relationships without healing in between, right? And carrying it on, all that resentment, all that bitterness, all that wounding, the trauma that the last relationship created, we carried it on. Now we're talking about going back to way when we were children. We carried it on in our lives and it kept adding and adding and adding and adding and creating a more, a, a bigger imprint, and the subconscious and the heart, the wounding, the heart is deep. Which means it's going to take a lot of time to heal this. You're going to start to feel better when you start to heal. But don't get it twisted. That doesn't mean you're healed. That means you're feeling better. It means don't stop healing. Don't stop doing the work. You'll know. You will feel it everywhere when you're free, completely free. Because you will feel the sense of peace that can't be shaken. No matter what you go through, the freedom and the peace, the joy, the happiness, the vibration of love, nothing will take you out of the vibration of love. You're completely in of extremely low vibrational energy right now, which means you're being asked to raise your vibration by doing the healing work on the Omega Consciousness Scale. <clears throat> it's like, I feel like you're over here trying... For some of you guys, right? Over here trying to give your mother love and your mother has her back to you. I'm seeing a lot of mother healing that's needed here. A lot of stubbornness. Look how her arms are crossed. That's the stance of nope. That's the stance of ego. Also. Selfishness too. Spirit, what guidance do you have for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Expect powerful change. Eclipse season. This is eclipse energy. Eclipse season is December, November, and December. You guys, can, you guys have free will. You guys, you guys have free will, right? You guys can continue to do this and, and ignore the messages from spirit here and continue to experience this in your life, right? Continue to experience this in your life and this in your life, right? And, and way more. Ooh, a lot more of this, right? And, and, and shit, a shit ton of this. A shit ton of this, right? Or you guys can really listen to spirit's message here. Take heed and surrender to healing. The message has been the same for you guys. It's, time, it's not time for this anymore. It's time to really come home to yourself, right? Spirit, what, got, yeah. what guidance do you have for cancer? You're very close to achieving your goal. Whatever it is that you're working on here. You're close to achieving your goal. So no more new losing nights of sleep, right? Regarding this specific situation. What other guidance do you have for cancer, spirit? Guidance for cancer. Sun rising and Venus. Guidance for cancer. Your hard work is paying off. So I'm seeing that this is not, it could be healing if you guys have already started your healing journey. But I, I don't know why I'm still seeing this here. If that's the case. Your hard work is paying off. I should be seeing better energy. This has to do with work, I'm sure. Or school or something like that. Yeah. Capricorn. New moon in Capricorn. Whatever it is that you're working on, it's paying off. What else, Spirit, for cancer? What other guidance do you have for cancer? Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone. 
What else for Cancer Spirit? So many interruptions. I had to stop the recording on your reading four times. So this is this is probably what this is. Um, this has something to do with you. Okay? This has something to do with you here. The blue moon is coming up. You're in the heavily in this energy. Believe in the impossible here. Okay? Um, that's the full, the full moon in Taurus at the end of the month. Um, so you're probably getting a lot of interruptions while you're doing work. This is a strong message for you. I have to stop the reading again. I'm sorry, you guys. Give me one second. So yes, um, you guys, sorry about that. Um, believe in the impossible. That's You guys are already in this energy of the full moon in Taurus at the end of the month. Um, heavy energy, right? Um, but magical energy because, you know, that blue moon is... Um, that, that, that thing we say, right? Uh, oh, this only happens once in a blue moon. And it's the first blue moon. And um, it's the first full moon of Halloween in 19 years from what I read, I believe. Um, so believe in the impossible. You guys are experiencing massive changes here, right? Surrend Try not to resist what the, your awakening, your rebirth, these changes that's happening. Try not to be scared. If you guys, here you are at the bottom of the deck, cancer, full moon and cancer, personal issue reaches resolution showed up for your reading right um your your card didn't show up for, for the reading because you guys are not in, in 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 the energy of taking control of your life and moving forward just yet and that's what that card represents the universe is trying to move you forward the universe is is is, is having a hard time moving you forward forward because you're resisting there's a lot of resistance energy here right you're resisting these the the, the spiritual awakening these changes that you're experiencing here it's a lot of fear in your energy, okay? A lot of stuck energy here. So, um, but you did show up here in fear mode, right? So, um, you guys are not alone. Um, you guys don't have to do this alone. Whatever um, spiritual uh, awakening, if you guys are going through the dark night of the soul and you guys are having a hard time, you guys are struggling, you guys are in despair, right? Uh, you guys are getting triggered. Things are coming back up to the surface. Whatever it is that you're going on here, you guys, you guys are not alone, right? Reach out to me. Reach out to other healers, um, light workers. Um, go, lean on the people that you can trust for help here, okay? Um, like I said, you guys um, just surrender to prayer. Surrender to God, the angels. Ask, ask, ask your spiritual team for help. Um, and so they can move things around in your life. When you ask for help, you get the help, okay? Because you have free will. It's important that you ask. You don't have to go through any of the, the, the things that you're going through here alone. You guys will get through this, okay? This is, if you guys are going through a spiritual awakening here, this is just um, a, a stage of the awakening, all right? That's really rough. That's bringing you into the depth, into the darkness here. The dark night of the soul, perhaps, for some of you. That's what it's looking like to me. Um, so that you guys can rise, Right, so the best thing that you can do when you're in this energy is to surrender completely to spirit, God, source, the universe. I'm gonna pull from the Archangels deck. Last message for you guys, and then um, and then we'll wrap this up. Please reach out to me, you guys, for help if you need it. Spirit, what guidance do you have, um, Archangels? Last message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Last message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Last message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do you have for Cancer? Sun, yeah, you needed to hear this. I'm so glad this jumped out for you guys. Lots of heart chakra healing, my loves. You guys are going through a hard time right now. But you are overcoming difficulties, okay? Um, that's what I said. So you have here, all is well by Archangel Jeremiah. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. All is well. But you guys have to surrender to complete healing. Then you have overcoming difficulties. I love getting this card because you guys are going through hard some, some 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 tough times here right now from what it from what it looks like overcoming difficulties the worst is now behind you you are surmounting any previous challenges the worst is now behind you my loves right the worst is now behind you compassion heart chakra soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved including yourself 
forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Do the whole, I posted in the description box to my readings, the whole Ho'opono prayer for radical self-love and forgiveness. Or is it radical forgiveness and self-love? I don't know. It's there. Okay, you guys, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribe. I'm going to check on you guys soon. I'm going to check on you guys in a week or so to see if you guys started this healing work, to see how you guys are doing, and to see if, um, where you're at. Spirit has any messages for you. Now that I know that you guys are going through this, I'm going to do more readings for you guys, uh, you know, to, to help you guys out, okay? Um, so uh, now that Aquarius is finally doing better and feeling better, I see here that you guys are, are needing a, some support, okay, my loves? Um, I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you resonate it. Please reach out to me for uh, personal readings, okay, so we can work together one-on-one -on, -one on this, all right, my loves? Again, this, this message may not be for everybody. Like I said, Spirit delivers the message to me to those who need it most. And this message is for somebody, and somebody needs this message here, okay? God bless you. Namaste. Mwah. Take care.